Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic and I'm here to share a tip on how to score without a scoreboard. So if you don't know what a scoreboard is, this is a Martha Stewart scoreboard. It has 1 8 in increments and what scoring is is where you it basically makes the, a piece of paper or cardstock easier to fold. It gives you a cleaner fold. If you fold by hand, especially with a heavier weight paper or cardstock, sometimes you will get cracking and tearing possibly. Um, you'll get like a jagged fold. It won't be a nice clean fold and scoring helps train the fibers of the paper and prepare them for folding so that you don't get that cracking. So again, this is the Martha Stewart scoreboard. Not everybody has this. It also has um, an envelope tool, so you can use it to make envelopes. It has envelope tool on the back, but we're not gonna be using that. I do need to make some thank you cards, so I've already cut some card stock in preparation for that, but I need to score it, so I figured this would be a good time to show you. Now, I do have this bone folder, and it is also a Martha Stewart tool. Actually, that scoreboard that I just showed you comes with a bone folder. I just don't know what happened to mine. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> so, But I prefer this one. It's a heavier weight, and I just like it a lot more than the one that came with the scoreboard. You can also use these stylus tools for scoring. So this one is from the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's not the best quality, but it does serve the purpose. It has a larger head and a smaller head. Both of the heads are a little bead. You can see that. And this one from Fiskars, I believe both ends are about the same size as far as the balls on the end. So there's not much difference there. So, I think I'm going to try out the Dollar Tree version. So, to do this, this is my old paper trimmer. I'm not even using my good paper trimmer. You can, but I'm just using my old one. If you have a paper trimmer like this or similar, it doesn't have to be a Fiskars. And it has a groove where the blade slides back and forth. If it has that groove, then you can use it to score the paper. Let me just take the blade off because... Okay. So I'm going to take one of these pieces of cardstock, and I know I need to score this at four and a quarter. So I'm going to line my paper up at four and a quarter. And then I'm just going to take the score tool. This is a little difficult for me. I could probably turn it around because I am left-handed. So, so I'm going to try to hold my paper firmly, and I'm going to use the bigger end and see what kind of score I get with that. So, and not press too hard because we don't want to tear the paper. And you're scoring right in that little crevice or where the blade normally would go. So that gives us this score. Hopefully you can see that. And then when you're folding, when you're scoring, you need to score on the side that you want to fold over, if that makes sense. So you would think that because this side is kind of like the embossed side, you see how the score is raised on this side, that you would want to just fold according to that raise, but that's not the case. You want to fold against the raise. So we fold on the side where the indention was made. So this is where the fold would be. And then you can take your bone folder and flatten that crease. You could use the edge of a ruler, whatever the case may be. And then we have a nice clean fold. So let's try that again. And I'm going to use the Fiskars and just find that indention in the paper trimmer and carefully slide down and there we have our score now if you don't have a paper trimmer and you need to score let's put this away 
you can use a piece of foam, a piece of a mouse pad. You can use a mouse pad, something soft, a little cushiony. And then if you have a stylus, use your stylus. Again, you can get this one from the Dollar Tree. This is a little more complicated because you have to do a little measuring, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you know where you're scoring, instead of scoring there, you need to mark your paper where you want the score to be. So you're going to have to mark it on either side. And I'm just going to mark here. Flip this around. Find the center because that's where I want to score at. And mark there. Okay, so I have my two marks. Now I'm just going to take my ruler with the beveled edge on in this instance and place it on my cardstock and line it up with my two tick marks. And then I'm just going to take my stylus and carefully, not too much pressure, slide down to score my paper up against the edge of the ruler. And that gives us a pretty nice score. And then I would carefully erase the tick marks. Go ahead and fold it. And if you don't have a bone folder, you can use the edge of your ruler to fold the paper on over. And that gives you a nice clean fold. Oops, like so. Okay. And then if you don't have a stylus or anything like that, there's still another way. Let me find, uh, measure out where I want to score the paper again. Oops. Okay, so then I'm just gonna line. And this piece of foam, I didn't buy this. Um, this was part of some packing from a package that I received. So you can use things like that. And I just kept it because I was like, oh, that would be a nice piece of foam um, for stamping. But it also works great for if I need to score and I don't have my tools available. So, and then you can use something with a fine, hard edge. So I could use the head of these tweezers um i could use the end of a skinny paint brush let's see i have one here so i could take the edge of a skinny paint brush and do that i'm sure you could even take a mechanical pencil make sure that the lead is inside and not out let's use the mechanical pencil to do it so and then use the plastic tip to score just hide the the lead so you don't draw a line on your paper so the key to this is having something soft cushiony underneath to allow for the score so there again is what the score looks like and i just used a ruler the paper the foam and a mechanical pencil without the lead showing and let's fold that over so even though I've measured it and scored it, I still like to line up my edges before I finish the score or crease it. And so there we go, just like that. And so now I have four card blanks ready to go to make some thank you cards. And I've scored it several different ways using several different tools. So I hope you enjoyed it and found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for live craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraft 
Scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.